Good morning, or maybe it's evening where you are, but welcome to Cutney Cottage. My name's Louise Bailey, and I'm going to take you through my third video of a junk journal. I'm going to walk through it. Uh, this journal I made uh, for a friend about two years ago when I first dabbled into junk journaling. And I didn't have any junk because I was a minimalist before that. And uh, I reached out to some friends on social media and asked them to send me any junk they have. Uh, and uh, she actually didn't send me junk. She sent me this huge box of craft supplies. She's a crafter as well. I didn't realize this. Uh, we went to high school together, but, you know, we've lived apart for quite a long time. And I had no idea that she was also a crafter and she sent me this massive box of craft supplies so in return two years later it's taken me a while i am going to send her this massive junk journal and it is massive it's chunky um i probably went a bit overboard but i did make it in a flow journal style and i'll show you what that means but it means that uh, you can t easily take pages in and out, add pages or take pages out of a journal instead of having to rip them out if it was uh, sewn. Okay, so I'm going to walk through it and uh, here we go. I'll show you the uh, spine. I like to make tassels. Not all of them have tassels, but uh, I, made, I used a spool, a wooden spool, and made this tassel with some beads attached with a um, bulb pin and I like to leave threads hanging I just think it makes it look a little you know like crafty um, you know, some people like crisp and clean I like to I like it to look like it's um, been well loved <laughs> and uh, well there you go so I used a, a little plaque there and these are this was a sorry trim that I glued with Fabri-Tac on the bind there and so this was a, a ribbon but I cut the flowers out so I can arrange them. And buttons, little uh, jewels. And this trim here, I glued on. And I got this at an estate sale. It was in, I love estate sales because you find some unique things versus just the, the, the trim that everybody could find at the craft stores or fabric stores. Okay, so here we have a satin ribbon, again, an estate sale. And just untie it. Uh, it's here. I punched holes with a crocodile and put the eyelet there. Sometimes I put jewels, but I think this one had so much a jewel would have been a bit overboard. So, All right here we go. So let's walk through it. Big fat chunky journal. Um, some lace and pretty papers. Doily. This paper doily. And uh, I had these flash cards. Our children, they're now teens, when they were younger, that showed them different birds. I just love this one, the swan. And, the, and I cut out a, a tag, because our, our children don't use the flashcards anymore. And we moved quite a few times from, even across oceans, from England to the U.S. and Sorry, U.S. to England and back again. Uh, so then I put a little bag with a little paper fastener. I picked these up, a whole box full of these cute little fasteners from a, a lady in our uh, area selling off a bunch of uh, paper punches and she had this box to for sale as well so you pick up a lot of neat things from yard sales and the Facebook marketplace and in this bag I have some post-its so they come in handy in a junk journal or just in life in general and these say joy so your post-its don't have to be normal boring post-its they can have nice uplifting messages. So there we go. Put that back in there and pop it back into, I used a paper doily to make a, a pouch on each side there, a corner pouch. A corner tuck it sometimes. Now I didn't tuck anything in there because I didn't want to cover up the swan, but you know as she's using this journal over time she might be like, oh I'm gonna tuck that important piece of paper there. Um, Okay, now I, I will mention, uh, just real briefly here, I, I typically have made uh, vintage looking uh, journals. You know, so lots of dark coffee stained papers and um, 
looks smudges and stuff so it looks like it came out of an old trunk of someone I wanted this one I challenged myself but I wanted this one to be colorful bright happy and retro uh, because my friend you know I've seen her her pictures on Facebook and uh, she and her husband they have a the vintage car and they go to the vintage car shows and I've seen her uh, dress at the the retro kind of 50s look and um, before and so I wanted to go with colorful for this one so here I have a, a picture that I left the back blank because with drunk journals you can use every space and um, you can write little notes for yourself on the back of some of these pictures and that makes it nice. Uh, you can see I've sewn lots of trim. Uh, so here I've taken some paper I had. I just had this paper and I left it blank on the back because she can write some you know, pearls of wisdom to uh, herself or grandchildren or children again I left the back blank but I went with that look with the 50s and colorful um, I put lots of cards throughout this one she can you know, use them to send to people if she wants or you know write herself a, a card you know think of junk journals you can people say well do you actually journal in them well yes you did you get creative and you use all the little spaces um, here I put some stickers. Could come in handy. I go with the theme. Some nice little stickers, and then uh, these were actually at a little—I don't know—like a little family dollar store, but they're so cute. I had to—I had to get them. Uh, some post-its, and this I printed out. Uh, I made—I designed that and printed it out myself. So that says notes to myself. Um, there we go. Kind of go with the theme. Colorful. And uh, another card. A little pretty card. Uh, Tuesday morning. That's a, a, a haven for junk journals because they have unique bits and bobs there. Lots of trim. Sewn. Uh, sometimes I just glue. Sometimes I sew. Um, here I made a bookmark. And this uh, dress, it was some scrap papers our children, our daughters used to uh, have a fashion kit when they were younger, about seven or eight. And they um, would cut, it came with lots of scrap papers. And uh, I saved all the scrap papers when they lost interest and I use them now. And I, I cut this out myself, this dress, and then I glued the little ribbon and button and some music sheets and then the car because, I don't know, I just... Uh, I've seen my um, dear high school friend at car shows, vintage car shows, so it kind of went nicely. Nice little surprise with that car, and um, this is glued in, this card, so she can write again. Journal, diary, what have you. Lists, it's always good. Uh, another friend locally had given me oh my gosh just like a storage room full of amazing craft things and vintage things and uh, I'm also working on a journal for her uh, I I do my journals for uh, gifts for people so no I'm not selling them I'm, I'm doing them out of just love to, to, to give to people um, and she gave me a whole bunch of uh, a big box full of children's book uh, pages so that's one of those and here I use some cardstock and doily and a little bag and I clipped it in but there's some stickers in there and then behind this I'll show you this these are some pieces of paper I dyed with avocado uh, you boil the avocado skin and then let it steep until it cools down and you pour the liquid out and dye your papers and it makes the prettiest vintage pink color so those are hand dyed and um, Let's see if I can slip them back in there. So, um, there you go. And then she can write little notes on the back. It's a little pouch, a little tuck pocket, I think it's called. Back here I made a, an envelope. Um, actually, I cut down an envelope. And again, I put some... This is dyed with coffee. And I stamped it. Make it a little bit special there. She can write little notes to herself. Um, there we go. Is that some real pretty trims there? Oh, and I used Easter egg dye to dye all these colorful papers. 
you'll see a little um little moth has flown into my craft room so it's going to join us but uh the little tab dies you use to dye eggs and you just dissolve them like you would to dye eggs but you put paper in instead um so that's how i got the pretty colors uh from the same package that this other friend gave me and here uh, i have in a little bag i have popped anything in there because you can use that and this is some stationery i got from an estate sale so it's vintage but it's actually hallmark and it's just really pretty you know back then people used to write each other all the time so i get a lot of stationery uh because you know people would have used one piece to write their friend and then they wanted a different stationery for the next letter so there tends to be a lot of pretty stationery and this i made with some card stock and uh, merrily we roll along some music sheets um a little pocket she can tuck things in um there we go more stationery and this is a, a paper clip that i made a banner glued it around decorated music sheet i pick up a lot of music sheets from um online estate sales what have you so I have to be a bit gentle here it probably help if i turned it around there we go and here we have more stationery i stamped the birds on it's really pretty so that's watermarked really nice stationery um pretty trim paper clips i put paper clip bookmarks throughout my journals and uh, what i do is you know attach ribbons sometimes beads this is a shaker card uh, i recently made quite a few of these i got into uh, it's a cd sleeve but uh you take you know you just you don't put cds in it but you uh decorate it and then you can just a kind of happy little uh, a little whimsical fun thing so cherish imagine inspire create and it was just plain white uh, i put paper on the inside and then decorated around it i decorated the back a little vintage handkerchief and some ribbon there's that little moth hello little moth wants to say hello to everybody um we live in the mountains they're rural so little visitors come in to visit uh there i actually glued a button with the trim and the vintage photo there here we go i made some and she can run on the backs some little cards to go in there and this was a bag that i decoupaged a napkin over and some rickrack another fun in the new house they moved to a, a, a they moved to a new uh homestead so that's why i put that of course it's been a while it's taken me two years to work on this journal not non-stop um i did wait about six months till i got a craft uh, place this is a little bookmark i made it was for a challenge in a junk journal group i'm in and uh the challenge was circles so i made a little pouch and it's also a little shaker it has little sequins in there another one of these cards where are you going to and there I actually put something in the pouch. Uh, it's, a, it's a little bag that comes out. And this is a little card to write what not. So in a little pouch here she can put, put, tuck things into. Now this I just took normal average school paper. And I spritzed it with some of the Easter egg dye to give it a bit of an aged look. Uh, a little bit of color. And these I left just plain. because She can diary journal. Now, the flow, I made this as a flow journal I mentioned. So there's two signatures. Uh, I mentioned in another video of mine, and I'll do a video about signatures as well. But signatures are basically sections. You know, you put your sections in, you can have, you know, one signature. You can have, you know, seven or eight, many signatures are smaller. This one's two. And I sometimes sew the, the, the signatures in. Uh, this one, I just, all I did was I put an elastic band. It's The elastic band goes all the way around the spine. Uh, I put some, you can't really see it, but it's the, it's around here, and then I glued that over it. Um, these were uh, sporty um, chilt girls' headbands, and they're glittery. And, uh, but the thing is, is that it's just an elastic band, so you can easily pull pages out. Or you can lift it up and add pages. So that's really um, handy dandy. 
there we go. That has a nice little crinkle sound to the paper as well since it's been spritzed. And um, I, I uh, sewed these together to make a pouch. It's kind of clever. And there's some stationery. Again, I think I picked this up at a local thrift store that benefits um, battered women's locally, and uh, which is sad that happens, but they help these women and they really do a lot of good. So I frequent their thrift shop often. Um, a little sticker there, she can write on. And some recipe cards I got from um, some thrift store. They're really cute. She can write recipes. And of course it's fitting. I have this old retro fridge back when they made fridges to, to last and were really cool. Um, there we go. Another retro picture and another bookmark. And uh, I have more recipe cards. I tend to find that my friends who craft also like to bake and cook. So, you know, and this is for her to write her, you know, family heirloom type recipes, you know, pass them down, um, her favorites. And uh, she might want to pass this down to children, grandchildren. Um, and it, it, it's just a nice place to put your, you know, favorite recipes. So that's what that's for. There we go. Cute little children. Um, she, her, recently they have a, a grandbaby, so I added children's photos throughout, um, and I just thought that was so sweet. And this is a bookmark I made years and years ago. Um, it's got a retro look to the fabric, and this neat um, little ledger envelope. I put some music things on this. I found again at that little Family Dollar, but it's quite handy. Um, can write a little checklist of errands, chores, appointments, miscellaneous. Um, I tend to have a lot of miscellaneous in my life. Uh, there we go. Get that tucked back in. I used Rick Rack because Rick Rack was very popular during that time. It still is, I guess. Now this is a paper bag. Um, there we go. Take a little bookmark there off. And um, I decorated the bag. The bag was already pink polka dot. I put some little post-it notes here so you can tear those off. And a real nice inspirational song. Um, and then the bag opens up and I've got some stationary papers in there. But she could put anything she wants in there. And it does, you know, expand like a, a bag. But that's kind of a nifty idea is to um, use bags, decorate them up. Um, which is a nice gift in itself, actually. Uh, she's into nature, so I got some birds there. Another one of those pretty sparkly cards. Um, the car, you know, the vintage car, and here I, I, a feather. Um, I get my feathers. I either collect my feathers from my chickens or ducks. We have pet chickens and pet ducks, uh, but I also order them um, from a. It's a bird sanctuary, and uh, they uh, collect the feathers that naturally fall, and they dye some of them, and some of them are just naturally pretty colors so um, they are ethically sourced uh, but there I've got the little vintage cars and then she can use that as stationery on the back so go with that retro theme doily oh I think that's like I think their their car that they have is I don't know the pictures look similar to that uh, my husband's a car enthusiast he has quite a few um, Mopar cars um, and uh, there's a piece of glue there. Oh no, that's the sticker's edge. There we go. Um, I'll put some little happy stickers. Um, I don't know much about cars. I should because my husband has quite the collection. Um, he's turning one into a race car. So this is more of that avocado dye paper. She can write herself a um, little poem or draw some pictures or a special note or a list. Um, this I spritzed with a stencil. Give it a little bit of, instead of just plain white. Um, these are very popular to use in journals. Little checks, restaurant checks, but you can write on the back. And I wanted to use this too because I'm basically saying with this journal, thank you for the lovely box of goodies you sent me. Years ago, uh, I have a little definition there, a daffodil, a little butterfly. Um, this is some stationery, the pretty little bookmark. Just quite a few sheets of that. And uh, it matches, even though it didn't come together 
I was like, oh, how fortunate is that? It, it kind of goes with it. Okay, so that's the first signature. So now we're with our second signature. This was a choker, and I sewed it just on the sins to make it what's called a belly band. And this I found at a thrift store. Lots of stationery winds up at our local thrift store. It's really sweet. Um, and a pocket. And this I made out of some papers I had. I have four of these spread throughout the journal as bookmarks you can use, but then I put these little cute papers in there. And they're, they're similar, kind of to match, so it goes with the theme. Lots of these cards. I use washi tape on these corners. And uh, little crocheted flowers. This I used a stencil and spritzed it as well and a doily so it gives a little bit of effect um, don't forget so she can write important dates or what have you there and trim and um, more cards these are so cute thinking of you fruitful thoughts they're so cute um, this I left open because at some point if she wants to tuck things in there she can uh, this was a uh, stationary set I had and oh so there's a little surprise <laughs> uh, so you open it up and there's uh, mom and dad you know saying hush to the kid or you know don't wake the kids pretty much I just thought that was really cute and these are post-its say blessed and um, and my friend is uh, she is a um, you know heavily devoted to her uh, religion so this card was really nice because it has the nature she's into the nature and um, it seemed fitting for her and I only had one of these I found at the thrift store and I thought ah oh, that's got to go to my friend I just think that's just lovely for her and um, cute little vintage oh and it's a cute little girl and here I think I put some yes I did lots of little tucks and hidden places some pretty stationery so You'll notice I, I like an eclectic look. I like to mix patterns that you normally wouldn't mix together. Um, and uh, this I made again is, you know, I have four of these throughout. Um, again, some stationery tucked in there, the pretty stamp. Uh, more, another one of these. I think I have four of those too. There's another one. And this was a, a, um, a Salvation Army had a whole stack of these. They're kind of neat. The National Wildlife Federation, but it's stationary and it's just so pretty um, I had a few of these of different designs and I thought it was, just looks so pretty in here and who doesn't love butterflies oh, well maybe some people don't but um, I, I haven't met those people yet uh, here's a nice little song a lovely blue, blue bell from earth hurried up and lifted early her beautiful cup a bee came buzzing oh it's so cute uh, this one was you know, vintage slot, vintageized a guest check. Um, somebody gave that to me. We I exchange a lot of um, supplies with people in these groups. So the, I send them supplies, they send me supplies, and then I use some for my own and some I put into journals to friends. This is an envelope, and the other side is tucked through here, but I turned it into a tuck. Um, and there's some cards that she can use for stationery. A beautiful these moments. I uh, should put whatever she wants in that envelope. Trim. Lots of trim. And here's a little bag. I made this little flower so I punched out the paper, the button. Little sparkles, little trim, fringe. And in there is some stationery. And uh, it's starting to rain so you might hear some rain sound. Another one of these cards. Let's see what I put on the back of this one. Dun -dun -dun. A little pouch and some more stationery. Opens up. So lots of places that she can tuck little notes and stuff into. I made this pocket, so I just sewed here a little trim. I made the stationery just using some index cards. You know, you could do a lot with them. Um, just decorating up some plain bits and bobs. This is a vintage bag. Again, the other side of the bag is going to be on the. You'll see it. We'll come through it. Uh, there's a funny story about these bags, but I ordered them off of Etsy. They're vintage, but off of Etsy. And Etsy shipped them to um, 
another person, somebody I had bought something and sent to her, um, gosh, you know, like a, a year or so earlier, her house had burned and a lot of us chipped in to send her some, some things. And I have since bought lots of things from Etsy that got shipped to me. So for some reason, Etsy decided to put that lady's address. So I had to buy them again because that lady is long gone and moved on. But anyway, this is a uh, dyed with uh, coffee. Um, which makes a nice little look. Sweet Surrender. And this little doodad here, a friend sent me some um, Happy Mail. And uh, I'll show you. She sent me lots of Happy Mail in this uh, box, but she made me this extra little box that was in there, a little Altoid tin that she's um, decorated. That's just amazing, little teapot. Incredible. And uh, I've put my own little things in here since then, but some of it's also hers that she gave me. Um, and in there, in this little box, was a few things, were a few things that I used, and that's one of them. And on the back, I made this, this is an old, uh, I saved cardboard boxes, and it was a craft box, and then I cut it down, turned it into a library card. And this paper's dyed with um, uh, turmeric. There we go. And then I punched the, the little flower in there. But yeah, the turmeric gave a nice little kind of vintagey looking yellow color there. And then, um, yeah, cute little picture. And uh, she has, I think she's getting chickens. I have chickens, and we just talked about that online a few times. And that's just some stationery there. Lots of stationery. Um, and this just reminded me, because they have the old car, and they have kids, and... I just like that vintage look, and so I tore that and aged it a bit. And this is more of that paper that I spritzed up. Uh, and again, here's the second signature flow. You know, so she can easily pull things out if she needs to or add. You know, she's crafty. She might want to add some. And I kind of made it real fat, so she might want to take some out. Make another journal out of um, Thoughts from my rocking chair, since she's a grandparent now. And time for a coffee break. Um, don't know if she drinks coffee, but I quite like coffee. Um, and these are actually postcards. She could, she could send those to friends or family. Another one of those um, bookmarks I made. Um, this I sewed in as a little pocket. And this again is some uh, vintage stationery I picked up at a estate sale. The same one I got the blue from. You know, back when people used amazing stationery and actually wrote to each other, which I do. I'm in this um, pen pal. Uh, junk journal group and we write letters to each other and I'm back into the art of letter writing I like it uh, some more stationery here these are two sheets of that and there's the other side of that bag so it's tucked in there and I put some more of that pearl paper I just thought it was really nice uh, this little flower was in that and this lace was in that little box I showed you that my friend sent me and more recipe cards um, okay Oh yeah, so this is the other side of the other envelope you'd seen, and this is the other side of it, and I just cut that part off and made it a little tuck spot with some pretty stationery. And I just love this little picture. I love all these little pictures of the children. They're so cute. Um, there we go. Oh, and this I'm actually gonna. Uh, I need to do some research on this, and I'll tell you about that later. Um, these tags, or these little tickets, um, I was given in some a happy mail through one of the um, groups, and I've used them in a couple of journals, and now I've found out that they actually um, might have come from China and have copyright infringement, which I will not participate in, so um, sorry about that one. I want to do research, and it might be okay. But I do want to do research. We all of us in the junk journaling community just found out that um, some of these, you know, Chinese companies are doing that. And well, we wouldn't know if we're getting them as racks, a random act of kindness, or happy mail from someone. But now that we know, it's time to uh, make right. So this is a holiday shopping list. Um, a few of those. She can use it for any holiday. That's a stationery in the back. A little retro-looking fruit. Uh, this card I actually glued, and there is a cute little, and I distressed the edges um, to make it stand out. 
some more post-its and more stationery. This one's really pretty too. Gorgeous. Um, some little fringe trim. And uh, more birds. Another card. Again, I spritz that. I put a doily over it and spritz it. It's kind of glossy. I'm um, oh, sorry, shimmery, sparkly. All right. And more. Another one. I have four of these. I did the backs and front, and she can tuck little things in. Um, stationery. It's cute. A bit eclectic there. Um, I love this vintage the little flower. And then here I glued the, the ribbon there. And uh, so it's, it's like a, a little band, a tuck spot. And another one of these. And this is an envelope I made using a dictionary page. It's an outdated dictionary. So well, the dictionary has got uh, modern dictionaries have a lot more words or removed words. Um, and then I made the stationery. And what's special about this little stamp on it is she, that was in her box. The box of goodies she gave me had that stamp. So I just thought it would be a nice gesture. And it looks good anyway. And uh, yeah, so I made this little envelope. And um, I can't remember quite how I had that in there, but it doesn't matter. We can put it any old way. There we go. Um, so there we go. This is just me being fumble fingers right now. It's actually easy to get in there, but uh, the back I left somewhat plain because then when she it's already big and fat enough, <laughs> so anything else on here would have been. I wouldn't have been able to sit down, but it's so sparkly anyway. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Big, fat, chunky journal and all these little threads from the bookmark. And then, you know, you just tie it up this way. Uh, it was easier to tie when I first started making it. Um, <laughs> now it takes a little bit of muscle. But um, just kidding, really. It's not that bad. Um, as I struggle here on the camera, no, I'm kidding. You just tie a little bow. Um, and there we have it. This is the Big Fat Chunky Journal. And, uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wrap it up to send to her yet. Let me grab this really quickly. Um, I have this vintage, um, fabric I've had for years and years and years. And it's got the same thing. So I think I'm going to iron out this fabric and, um, dress it up some. Uh, it's really, it's really old. It's vintage as well. Um, and then wrap it in that, I'm thinking. Or I might get a nice pretty box with some tissue paper. Still debating. But either way, it is going to be wrapped up really soon and sent to her. And that's why I wanted to do a video walkthrough. Um, and that's it. Well, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, um, post them in the comments. I hopefully will remember to look at that and answer them. And uh, thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.